Hello everybody, my name is Philip Becker and welcome to my workshop. Before I had the space, I worked in a spare room in my apartment, which was okay, but it is on the fifth floor and no elevator. So to make my life easier, I needed a dedicated workshop. I did a lot of research and finally found a place that is affordable and within reach. And it was empty, so I could move in right away. My shop has roughly 25 square meters with 4.5 square meters in width and 6 meters in depth. I used Fusion uh, 360 to somewhat lay out the, the shop and get a feel for the space. But first things first, painting. The paint on the wall was really ugly and I wanted a nice white background, at least for the uh, concrete wall and the ceiling. And I'm really glad that I did this because it made the place look so much better. After paint I did the electrical work, especially the light. I didn't film any or much of it as I'm not an electrician and even though I kind of know what I'm doing, I don't feel comfortable showing it to you. And most of it was done in the dark with a flashlight anyways. The only thing separating my room from my neighbor is just one sheet of OSB and to be able to hang stuff and tools and so on to the wall, not worrying all the time to poke through, I needed to reinforce it. Especially as I wanted to mount my right hand side workbench to the wall to make it really sturdy. I started with a cross beam at the heights of my workbench and I made sure that it was really level. After that I spaced these studs 40 cm apart, which seems to be a standard measurement here in Europe. After that I cut my studs at the miter saw. They are all a little bit different as my floor is really uneven and I needed to adjust for that. I installed them with metal brackets on the floor and some screws through the cross beam and into the studs and it was really sturdy. I used the level to make sure that they are vertically right. After that I repeated the same process for the upper part, except I used brackets on the top and the bottom as I couldn't reach above the cross beam. The next day I could start sheeting my wall with 80mm OSB. I really took my time with the first sheet as it was the reference for all the ones above. I tried to make my life easier by marking the studs on the OSB and copy that when I moved up. I did this so I know where to screw and for the future to know exactly where are my studs. Okay, this was the first part of my shop build. In the next video I'm going to show you how I built my wall mounted workbench. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any of my future videos. I've got more behind the scenes and progress stuff on my Instagram page at Mr. Philippica. I got a link in my video description as well. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you next time.